table clash and they beat Rochdale away at Spotland another draw against Solihull Moors away I may add in their last five games have started to bring the Dabbers um, Dabbers up the Daggers sorry up the table that's but <laughs> that is that twitch but here come the host again Effie Young's inside the box takes a touch gets it past Croker pulls it across the box this has got to be 1-0 and it is 1-0 already Dagenham have the lead and it's Ryan Hill with the goal too easy in the end for the Daggers Ine Effie Young burst his way into the box played the ball across goal it beat everyone inside the uh, inside the Oxford City box that were trying to defend that attack and it dropped to Ryan Hill who will not be denied for the second time and he blasts the ball into the net and already when not even five minutes into this game but it's Dagenham and Redbridge 1 Oxford City nil. Wow test of character now. Ryan Hill's ball to Pereira was overhit, and it allows City to get numbers back but City really struggling to clear their lines at the moment and they just need to potentially get to half time if they can and maybe regroup at the break it's with Sam Ling on that far touch line into Josh Reese. Reese forced a little bit wide by his counterpart Reese Fleet Pereira into Hessenthaler Hessenthaler's got a bit of space to run into he then finds Frank Vincent and a fantastic goal from Frank Vincent a brilliant strike 25 yards out Marcin Brzozowski clutching at thin air and that was a terrific goal and with 35 minutes gone it's Dagenham 2 Oxford City 0 well, what can you do about that Vincent maybe you can say you could have closed him down a little bit more but that was a terrific strike just took a touch fired it into the top corner Brzozowski was at full stretch but could could not get near that fantastic strike from Frank Vincent and that is the level of quality in this league that just punishes you because a half chance which it was will end up being a goal brilliant strike from Vincent but now City really do have their backs against the wall and are well up against it they don't really think we'll see much in the way of stoppage time in this first half perhaps one we'll soon find out and in fact it's two so I uh, wasn't far out there two minutes of stoppage time to go and we're into that now here at Victoria Road Effion running on to a long through ball Brzozowski momentarily comes from his line Effion still with a chance and it's a fantastic goal another really good goal and it's Inny Effion he's drilled it in from the edge of the penalty area wide on the right and that I think Andy will be game set and match we're already at half time and it's Dagenham 3 Oxford City nil. Yeah, it's 2-0, uh, you have a chance, 3-0, I think that might just be it, but a fantastic strike from Ine Effion, curled into the top corner, aid of the crossbar, when things aren't going your way, they really are not going your way, but they are getting a lesson in how to take your chances by Dagenham and Redbridge, unfortunately, and it's all too easy because when they yeah. do get the ball they have too much space and it allows them to pick those shots brilliant finish from Ine Effiong and it just sums up Oxford City's day so far it sums up the day here you go fingers crossed they can cause something back maybe a bit of pride maybe but we are back underway here at Victoria Road and now Dagenham in their home shirts of uh, red and blue shirts blue shorts blue socks shooting from left to right towards their fans behind the goal now against Oxford City and there's an early chance here for Effiong to get the half going again for the host now over to Pereira into Effiong chance here for Dagenham it's a goal it's taken them 40 seconds to score their first goal of the second half it's Effiong again and when it rains it certainly pours in the case of Oxford City when you think that the players can come out flying out the traps to salvage a bit of pride the absolute opposites happen Dagenham walked the ball through the Oxford City defence and Effie Young bursts in the box and buries the ball underneath Marcin Brzozowski Dagenham and Redbridge for Oxford well, City but they have what they have and they've got to be better with what they've got but they although they've conceded after 40 seconds they've started to bring the game to Dagenham since then perhaps a little bit too late but there's Burley plays the ball in behind looking for Williams-Bichel crossing across goal and City do have a goal back and it's a great goal actually it's 
49 minutes on the clock and it's Jacob Roddy who scores his first goal in senior football and his first goal for Oxford City lingering at the back post to head from point blank range Aaron williams Bichelle's across into the box and it may not be much but it's a little bit of something to be to shout about for those travelling City supporters it's Dagenham and Redbridge 4 Oxford City 1 Jacob Roddy with his first senior goal yeah, good cross from williams Bishow and Roddy at the back post there. I think, actually, the uh, Dagenham manager might be disappointed with that because uh, I think they had a chance to clear it. But uh, it is at least a consolation, if nothing else. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a foot in the door because they're still three goals behind, but uh, a consolation at this stage. And you never know if they can get another one back. Maybe a few nerves might jangle, but... Uh, that's maybe a little bit of wishful thinking. Well, that, I think you're absolutely right. I think the, the most angry play, uh, person in the whole stadium will be the Dagenham manager, Brent Strebens, because it looked like a nailed-on clean sheet, but here come Dagenham again. Effiong, who's on a hat-trick, but that's with the byline. It could be another goal, and as soon as City score, Dagenham regain their four-goal advantage. It's 5-1 at Victoria Road, and I think it's Vincent again. And it's two goals pretty much from kickoff. And as soon as Oxford City salvaged just a little bit to cheer in this game, there's a hammer blow that brings them back down to earth. Less than a minute after scoring, and already in this second half, there's been three goals. Well, defence, defenders are not doing particularly well in this second half. Three goals, and all three were avoidable goals and that one again Effiong just opened up the Oxford City defence down the left hand side and it's Josh Rees that's been given the uh, the goal there to make it 5-1 and I'm in a bit, a bit of disbelief at the moment Andy three goals in five second half minutes and I would say all three were pretty poor defending they were but there's a ball forward again Oxford City is sent in another goal Ashby oh it's a close one it was almost four on? goals within the first five minutes of this second half. The ball dropped to Ashby on the edge of the box and he almost found the target. Well, what's going on in this game all of a sudden? <laughs> what an absolutely <laughs> mental start to this second half. Close from Josh Ashby. Dropped off the boil as well. Meanwhile here today, it's Dagenham 5, Oxford City 1 here on BBC Sounds and Dagenham have a throw in into the box, flicked across and not dealt with and that's a brilliant goal wow what a goal by Dagenham and Redbridge I think it's Jake Hessen Tyler but it was an overhead kick the ball floated over the box who he moved his body to hit the ball towards goal and it's an acrobatic shot towards the net and it beats Brzozowski all ends up and that compounds City's misery in sensational fashion, it's Dagenham and Redbridge 6, Oxford City 1. Wow, that was another great strike, an overhead kick and on goal, but really good defending from Keenan Apaya Forson and then a ball out to the right-hand side to the substitute Kedwell. Kedwell gets the ball across, City haven't cleared their lines and it is 7-1. And again, it was so, so easy. Harry Kedwell, the substitute, down the right-hand side. The ball into the penalty area. City's defence at sixes and sevens. And Dagenham and Redbridge have gone into a 7-1 lead here. Just trying to crane my neck to see who got the final touch. But whoever it is, it's an absolute disaster for Oxford City. This has been a real hammering, a real drubbing. And with still 10 minutes to go, it's Dagenham and Redbridge 7, Oxford City 1, and it's Josh Reese 